cycloid point generating circle baseline cycloid is a curve traced by a point on the circumference of a circle which rolls along a straight line without slipping one convolution application of cycloid gear tooth profile the cycloidal curve finds application in the design of gear tooth profile cycloid with a point c as center draw the generating circle of radius 40 mm divide the circle into 12 equal parts and number them as 1 2 3 etc Draw the baseline PQ equal to pi d and divide it into the same number of equal parts and name them 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc. Draw a line from R to S parallel to PQ. Draw the perpendicular lines from the points 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc., which will intersect the horizontal line drawn from the point C. at c1 c2 c3 respectively draw horizontal lines from the points 11 10 8 7 7 taking c1 c2 c3 etc as centers and radius equal to radius of generating circle draw arcs to cut the horizontal lines through 1 2 3 etc at P1, P2. Now draw a smooth curve through the points P1, P2, P3. To draw tangent and normal, mark any point D on the curve. Center D and radius equal to 25 mm. Mark C dash on the line C C 12. From C dash, draw a line perpendicular to baseline P Q and mark E. Join E D and extend it to get the normal. Now draw the tangent T T dash perpendicular to the normal. Construction of epicycloid. Draw a radial line OP of measurement R is equal to 75 mm with O as center and OP as radius. Draw an arc PQ subtending an angle of 96 degrees at O. Extend OP and on it mark. C such that PC is equal to 20 mm draw the rolling circle with center C and radius 20 mm divide the rolling circle into any number of equal divisions say 8 and name them 1 2 3 etc now with o as center draw concentric arcs passing through points 1 2 3 etc also draw an arc through point c to represent locus of centers divide the arc pq also into eight equal divisions and name them 1 dash 2 dash etc join o 1 dash o 2 dash etc and extend them to meet the locus of centers at c1 c2 c3 etc let p be the starting point with radius 20 mm and center c1 cut a point p1 on the arc drawn through point 1 in the rolling circle similarly get points p2 p3 p4 etc on 
the appropriate arcs. Join the points P1, P2, P3, etc. with a smooth curve to get the required epicycloid. To get tangent and normal, take any point M on the curve with M as center and radius 20 mm. Cut a point V on the locus of centers. Join O with V to meet the base circle at point S. Join S and M and extend it to get the tangent. Draw normal through M perpendicular to the tangent. Construction of hypocycloid. Draw a radial line OP of radius 100 mm and on it mark C such that PC is equal to 20 mm. With C as center and radius 20 mm, draw the rolling circle. With O as center and radius equal to OP, draw an arc PQ subtending an angle of 72 degrees with O. Also draw a curve through C to get the locus of centers. Divided rolling circle into 8 equal divisions 1, 2, 3 etc. With O as center, draw concentric arcs through points 1, 2, 3 etc. on the rolling circle. Divide the arc PQ into the same 8 equal divisions and name them 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc. Now join O1 dash, O2 dash, O3 dash, etc. and get C1, C2, C3, etc. on the locus of centers. Let P be the starting point with radius 20 mm and center C1. Cut a point P1 on the arc drawn through point 1 in the rolling circle. In the same manner, get points P2, P3, etc. on the appropriate arcs. Join the obtained points P1, P2, P3, etc. by a smooth curve to get the required hyperbola. Tangent and normal. Mark any point M on the curve with M as center and radius 20 mm. Cut a point N on the locus of centers. Join O N and extend it to meet the arc PQ at S. Join S with M which is the normal. Through M draw the tangent perpendicular to normal. Example problem. In this case, the angle theta is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, draw a line PQ equal to 140 millimeter. Mark O such that PO is equal to 70 millimeter. Mark C on PO such that PZ is equal to 35 millimeter. With C as center and radius 35 mm, draw the rolling circle. Draw the locus of centers with O as center and radius equal to OC. Divide the rolling circle into 8 equal divisions. Draw concentric arcs passing through 1, 2, 3, etc. on the rolling circle.
divide the arc PQ also into 8 equal divisions. Get C1, C2, C3 on the locus of centers by joining O1 dash, O2 dash, O3 dash, etc. Let P be the starting point. Now with radius equal to 35 mm and center C1, cut a point P1 on the arc drawn through point 1. Similarly get other points P2, P3 etc. Join these points in sequence to get the required hyperbola which is a straight horizontal line.